tiny bears. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're making this almond meal chocolate cacao, cocoa, whatever, however you want to say it, nut balls. Now it's been quite a while since I made them, not gonna lie. So let me try to I'm gonna have to put my headphones on so I can entertain myself separately because you know my attention span is less than an ant. Uh, I'm with you guys, I'm right here. I'm just gonna get a tray ready, put these suckers on because failing to prepare is preparing to fail, the old adage. Never a truer word was spoke. Never retrieval card. Anyway, sorry y'all. So if you want to get a pen, if you, anybody in the world is at all slightly interested, I made these before and they were bomb, but I put um, goji berries. I was going to say cranberries, not cranberries, goji berries. They're really high in antioxidants, etc., and so forth and so on and so forth. Oh, what else did I put? The almonds, um, coconut, all of this. Okay, rice syrup, rice malt syrup is optional. Okay, this is organic, but at the same time, it it is high in sucrose. Okay, so organic brown rice it's made from, but it does have a pretty high sugar content. So if you wanted to changing that one out for agave which i really did think we had in the cupboard in the middle little mini pantry there got malt extract there's no light in here i've requested an upgrade but so far nothing i won't be holding my breath so if you want to write this down or whatever you want to do um put the ingredients in that you like you know if you don't like something don't put it in if you're allergic to nuts obviously don't put nuts in this is a mixture of almond brazil and cashew butter which is really really good and of course the simply nuts which is peanuts so work with your tastes and your likes and your dislikes and almond meal is a little on the pricey side but i find it is delicious so yeah, not to be rude, but I can't be alone with my own thoughts for too long, so I can keep the interesting things happening. Anyway, welcome back. A little pause break. Almond um, slithers in there. So it's a full cup of almond meal, half a cup of coconut, half a cup of raisins, or whatever little tiny bit of sweetening fruit. You can use chocolate chips if you like, whatever you prefer. You know, I'm not going to try to tell you what to do. You know what you like. So go with what you like. Go with what your kitties like or whoever you're making it for. Feel me? Now, a spoon of everything. I like to use a clean spoon because everybody likes to have... Nobody wants to come to a peanut butter jar and see bits of chocolate in there, so to speak. I don't anyway, but everyone else seems to not really GIF, GAF, so to speak. So, a bit of peanut butter. Okay. Now, if you live in a humidity place like we do, even in winter, uh, things tend to release their oils quite significantly. That's fine. That's nutrition. That's good oils, peeps. That's good oils. So put however much you want in, or have however much you don't want. I like to put equal parts of each, so the flavours are pretty well balanced. If that makes any sense. Now I'm onto my third spoon. Someone's gonna love me. That's me because I do the dishes. <laughs> anyway, being a little bit better and having some really rough days. I'm not gonna lie, rough nights. Feeling like I uh, feel like. A come down with something like 
I took a COVID test to try to rule that out. Apparently those rapid tests are coming back into false positives, or false negatives, so. So, yeah, I try to rule everything out and starting to feel a little bit better day by day. Well, I still feel pretty crap polar. And I hate complaining, you know, and I hate being like a burden on people. But oh, no matter what I do, I get my kidneys checked or whatever. Does anyone have any suggestions? Let me know. Oh. All those have been put in in their parts. Nelly there at the final step now I like to put everything back so that everything's clean clean and clear for the next <coughs> mission so to speak so the hard part is actually coming up it's rolling the balls which can be quite time consuming why I've been putting this off since I've been putting this off since last week when I bought all the in, well, not all the ingredients but majority of the ingredients oh I needed that Stir, baby, stir, stir, stir. So if this doesn't work, y'all are here with me as a witness. Keep me honest. I can't lie. So mix it all like so. And I think we're going to need a little bit of, little, little bit of uh, coconut oil or something like this I could use maybe the top of that almond oil you know how I was telling you how it was all uh, oily at the top I use the almond oil because I think that will probably taste better than just the straight peanut butter oil I keep pressing the dishwasher on if you're wondering what that noise is so I didn't have to do that last time but I'm trying to use less sugar Or honey, if you love that, you know. And mix, mix, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix. Mix it, mix, mix, mix it, mix. Now I'll show you an example of a couple of balls, and obviously then I'll put it on fast forward because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to see a thousand balls get made. Now, I think we'll just need a little bit more sweetener down the bottom. Much as I don't want to, we do know it takes quite a lot. So, rinse that puppy off. Dry off there. And continue <clears throat> with the combinational process of combining. The combined process. Now, I think once you can feel... The consistency of the mixture becoming malleable, pliable, whatever the word may be. I like to have a nice clean bowl to dip my fingers in so I can keep on going. A nice clean water dish or whatever you find appropriate. That way I can oops, keep the noise. That way I can um, 
do it all nice and easy breezy without making a big mess and getting frustrated and ending up it being not worth it. You feel me? Now I think we're at the part where we can make a couple of balls for demonstrational purposes and take it from there. Obviously it goes without saying, wash your hands first before starting. Obviously I did that. No. Washing your hands is essential because obviously we all have little bits of skin cells and things that drop off dead skin and nasty things. I'm not saying be a germaphobe and be scared of germs, but please wash your hands before making these balls. That's just the polite thing to do, quite frankly. Unless you're making them all for yourself, you know, or you want to make um, ones for kitty, substitute things, little kitty treats and make a little kitty ones. I don't know if you can do that, but everything's possible, isn't it? Most things. So here we go. The rolling process. Try not to make them too big or too small, you know. There's a optimal size for each person. I think if you're making them for kitties, they could probably be a little bit smaller than the bite-sized ones that we make for the big kids because... Obviously, our mouths are a little bit bigger. So, yeah. And there we go. We can continue on. Got about 10 more to go, I'd say. I'm probably going to have to squeeze them closer together. And I'm starting to get anxious because I don't like this feeling. And I can't stop the phone now. Anyway, calm down. Calm your farm. Oh my god, I have to. Sorry, oh my gosh. I have to rinse my. <sighs> I really don't like that feeling. So weird. I don't like that feeling of it on my hands like that. Ugh. I mean, it's no biggie, but for some reason it just gets to me. Okay, keep going. Keep on going. Keep on, keep on going. Yeah, so some of them, I love, 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 love this idea because pretty healthy, guys. I mean, apart from the sugar, if you only have one a day or half a one, if you're that way inclined, then you're not going to be breaking the sugar bank, are you? And with the costing, rising cost of everything, over here it's like that bag of, Almond meal in the 500 gram bag, 10 bucks, $10 Australian, which is I think 15 over there in America and in the UK it's about 20. Uh, in New Zealand, the same. God, I sounded New Zealand then. Did you hear that? New Zealand. New Zealand. People used to think I was New Zealand. I had like a weird accent for a while. I think it was when I was highly in my acute upper days and I started getting all hypo and talking like a Yankee no talking like a pommy is that wrong to say pommy yay I did it I like did it all I'm so happy it tastes so okay. good Usually I'll roll them in uh, some extra coconut now, which I like to do. Or well, they're still a little dampish. I'll use the same bowl because I eat about that washing the dishes life. Even though that's <laughs> literally what I'm doing. <laughs> I am an oxymoron. I know it. I feel it. It's all okay. good. So, dry her up, clean up the little bit of excess mess, 
You see them? Aren't they pretty? Okay. Now, I do have a little bit of excess mess of in. I didn't even use the, the dipping pot. <laughs> anyway, probably would have grossed me out even more doing it that way. So, I'll just quickly roll them in the coconut and then I'll say sayonara. So we could do half coconut, half no coconut. And then pop them in the fridge if you have room. If not, if it's cool enough outside on the bench. I mean, we're having really weird uh, temperatures here. It La Nina. I mean, I'll have to do a bit of research into that, but apparently we're in La Nina, so sweating and it could be my own issues as well, but cold and sweating at the same time and like humid, really humid and we're just, today's our second day of spring, so spring has sprung. And my nose is running. Like... Delicious, delicious. it guys homemade almond meal and coconut